Driving in India is crazy, so I wasn't crazy enough to rent a car and drive myself. In this video, I'm a backseat driver as we drive all over India, around Jaisalmer, Amritsar, Jaipur, Fatehpur Sikri, Ranthambore, Varanasi, and Old Delhi. Indian drivers face many obstacles on the road, obstacles that most of us never face. However, by seeing India by car, we also get to see the real India. We're going to see the typical traffic in the cities and towns, but we're starting in Rajasthan in the desert as we head to Jaisalmer. Whoa, look out! At least this cow knows which side of the road to be on. Out here, it's not the traffic you have to worry about, it's the animals. We see some typical obstacles like cows, which like everywhere in India, have the right of way because they are considered sacred. Some cows don't have a care in the world. We also see goats, which are usually in herds. Here's one obstacle that is a little less commonplace, wild camels. Here's yet another obstacle, a rare toll booth. I haven't seen too many of them in India. It's just like the New Jersey Turnpike. I don't know what that is, but I hope it doesn't fall over. Excuse me, but why is that vehicle in our lane? Now there was one obstacle I didn't count on, nuclear fallout. So we're driving through Pokhram, where India's first atomic bomb was tested in 1989. 1989? Yeah. Okay. So, I just got out of the car to a uh, rest stop to buy some cookies. I hope I didn't get some radioactivity. But despite the cows, goats, camels, and possible radioactivity, we were rewarded with a beautiful desert sunset. Now here's a different type of a potential obstacle. Terrorism. All right, we're approaching the India-Pakistan border. We see the flags of both countries. Yeah, Lahore. Lahore. Before That's Pakistan Pakistan used to be capital of Punjab altogether. Okay. The U.S. State Department recommends that all U.S. citizens stay several kilometers from the India-Pakistan border. I was here to visit Amritsar, and for me, it was worth the visit. But I'm not recommending you ignore the advice of the U.S. State Department. So it feels like we're crossing the border, but we're not crossing the border. No, no. <laughs> we're now in Jaipur, the pink city, and here we can see some of Jaipur's beautiful architecture. We're seeing more of India's typical city traffic. Cars, buses, trucks, motorcycles, and tuk-tuks, which are three-wheeled auto rickshaws. We're driving toward Fatehpur Sikri, and you can see the large number of motorcycles and motorbikes, which is probably the easiest way to get around here. We're on our way to Ranthambore National Park. We're in this very small town here, very interesting. Crowded. Lots going on. On the way to Ranthambore, you get a feel of what the smaller towns and villages are like. What, you don't have camels at your farmer's market? Why is that truck merging when we're in the lane? To the right, to the right, to the left. To the left. Yeah, come, 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 come. Oh, right here, right here. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, and if you drive inside Ranthambore National Park in an open-air vehicle, here's another obstacle you might face, a Bengal tiger. Please get me back to the safety of dodging cars, trucks, tuk-tuks, cows, goats, camels, and people on the open road. But wait, there's more. Here's an obstacle I photographed during my first trip to India in 1998, an elephant in the middle of the road. Now we're in Varanasi, a holy city located on the banks of the Ganges River. It's nice that they have dividers between the lanes. That's a marriage truck. Beautiful. Somebody rode it, cow. <laughs> <laughs> the cow has the right of way. Well, many cows somebody rode. Yes. Where is Varanasi driving very, very hard? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Did I mention yet how drivers like to honk their horns all the time? Up to now, we've seen what driving is like in a car, but here in Old Delhi near the Chadni Chowk Market, we get a different perspective from a human powered bicycle cart called a cycle rickshaw. Riding in one of these, the traffic around us goes a lot faster. Now we pass through uh, one touch on the left side. I think I see the red Ford up there. That's right. Delhi, going back to an airport hotel and turn around in about four hours, go back to the airport. As you can see, there were no painted lines on this road because that would be a waste of good paint because no one pays attention to the lines around here or the rules, right? <laughs> they just they just go for wherever there's room. One, two, three, four, five. So I count like five lanes in a two-lane a two lane street. That about, that's about normal, I think. Oh, yeah, more people come in the wrong way. Do, do the police ever give tickets to anybody for like speeding or yes. going the wrong way? They do. Yes. But in India, 
just uh, like 15% are following the traffic rules. 15%? <laughs> I'm surprised it's that many. <laughs> <laughs> really, it's 80%, 85% wait, people wait, are... Wait, there like, are no rules. What are you talking about? Well, it's always interesting driving around India, that's for sure. Yeah. <laughs> Indian driving is very difficult. Yeah. I thought Los Angeles was bad. It's about 10 times worse. <laughs> <laughs>